Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Shadavia, and this is Oh She Budgets, where we talk about all things money, savings, and budget related. In today's video, we're going to be doing my very first cash stuffing. You guys, I am so excited for this video. I'm excited to start using my budget book. Um, I am going to be stuffing uh, just the categories that I actually carry cash for. Um, I keep all my bills on my debit card and I, I use my debit card to pay those. So I'm just carrying a small amount of cash uh, with me. I am going to be stuffing today. 51, 20, 40, 10, 20. Oh, so 140, 150, so $197 is what I am going to be um, stuffing today. This is going to be my very first time using my actual budget book. Um, so I'm excited to start using that. I've already um, kind of broke my um, grocery budget for the week. Um, I've used my debit card for some of the money, so I'm going to actually be stuffing a small amount into my groceries envelope. But without further ado, let me go ahead and get started. So, like I said, my first, um, I did actually make this myself, and I am so happy with the way that it turned out. Um, so, for groceries, like I said, very first time, it's going to be getting... $15. If you guys watch my budget with me video, you'll see that I did budget $100. Um, of that $100, $15 is what's going to be left to actually put in this bad boy. So I'm going to go ahead and stuff that in there. There we go. And that we have for groceries. Household is the next one. Household is going to get um, $15 as well. And this is just going to be things that I need, like tissue, paper towels, um, just anything household item related. Right now, we don't need anything, so that's great because I did kind of stock up um, a little bit. I used to coupon. I'm trying to decide if I'm actually going to get back into it or not. It is time consuming if you're a couponer, you know. Um, so we'll see, um, how that goes. Um, my car, I do work from home, so, um, I'm just going to stuff $50 for gas, um, because I know eventually I will need to, um, fill up, even if I do work from home, just, um, uh, when that time comes, I'll have my cash ready, um, to stuff that, and I'll probably... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So that's that's my car. Um, for self care, for me, I'm giving myself twenty dollars, and this is actually huge for me because I never put money aside for myself, and I always feel guilty. And I'm pretty sure you guys can relate to. I always feel guilty when I spend money on me, um, but now that I have these. Um, envelopes to allocate money i don't feel um i'm pretty sure i won't feel as guilty because i'm i'm setting money aside for myself um uh, miscellaneous is not gonna get anything this week family fun is going to get seven dollars so that's a five and six and seven and this is just for any type of family fun activities. If we want to go out for ice cream, um, go bowling, to the movies, just different little Sunday fun day activities. I'm going to stuff it in there like that. There we go. Perfect. Boom. So there we got family fun. Okay, let me go back, y'all, because this is going to actually drive me crazy. 
I might be a little OCD when it comes to stuff like this. So let me just go ahead and flatten this out. There we go. Now it looks cohesive. Yes, there we go. I love to see it. Cool. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're thinking about a spring break and I think most people usually use like vacation as their sinking fund. Um, but I'm just making, I only have one budget book right now, so I am making that a part of this budget book. Eventually when I differentiate between um, my sinking funds and non-sinking funds, then I'm pretty sure I'll probably move uh, this envelope. But as of right now, we're gonna leave it in here and then vacation is actually going to get uh, $20. I wanna take a trip for Christmas. Um, so that we can have a white Christmas. I know $20 is not gonna get us there, but it is definitely a start. <clears throat> so there's vacation. And the rest of this, um, let's see, 50, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. So $70 is going to go into saving. Um, 50 of that is actually going for my emergency fund. And I'm just gonna add it into this little envelope um, for right now until I decide where I'm actually gonna store my um, emergency fund and which uh, savings account. I do have a CD account, um, but that one's already maxed out. So I need to figure out that um, where I'm gonna put those funds. And then um, a little update to my cash envelope challenge um, because between my last video and this one, I did come into a small amount of additional um, income. So now I'm able to fill in another two of these envelopes. And it was $14. So that worked out perfectly. I'm not necessarily going in order with these, but this just so happened to to work out perfectly um, because in this one, I actually came into $35 um, for side income and I took 21 of that to finish paying off my Target card. If you guys uh, watched my last video, you you saw that I had a $21 balance for Target. So now Target is completely paid off, thank God. And now I can go ahead and move forward um, to my next debt. Um, I think it is, I wanna say it's either my Walmart or Navy Federal. Either way, I think it's like $200, $300. Um, so that is next on the list. So now I can take that payment that I was putting on Target towards that debt to pay that off um, as well. So I'm excited about that. And then, like I said, I just use a difference to be able to shave in um, two additional envelopes for me. So, so far um, on this $10,000 um, <clears throat> envelope challenge, we have four envelopes that I was able to color in, which is a great start. Um, I'm actually looking forward to seeing this whole thing filled up um, by the end of 2022. If you guys are also doing this challenge, uh, let me know in the comments how you're actually attacking this. Are you doing this every day for the next 100 days or are you doing it like I am or something similar? where you're just pretty much doing it whenever you can or whenever you have extra income to put it towards that. Um, but that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my other videos. That is all you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching and you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.